Hey, welcome back YouTube land. Jazzy here and another Transformer review today. Um, this time it is the Generations Titans Return Decepticon Scourge with his Titan Master Companion Fracas. Um, so this is a deluxe class size figure. Um, and there's a lot I like about this figure. Uh, he's got nice articulation on him. Uh, no waist movement, but you know, feet movement here. Knees, thigh swivel. Good movement there for his legs. Uh, my the head's loose on mine. It just is. Uh, shoulder. There's a ball joint in there. Bicep swivel. Uh, a lot of good art. It's articulated quite well. This leg is nice and sturdier than the other one. Um, and let's have a little look at Fracas. Uh, I really like the the head mold they did for Scourge. Uh, he's got his little gun there. I do believe that comes out. And there is Fracas. And they put some detail in this guy. We got a bit of green or teal here for his legs. Uh, we got silver and red paint in the face. Hasbro, what did why? I don't get why they did it with few but not many. Um, is it because there's not a lot of paint apping on Scourge? Because really, there's not. Um, we got a Decepticon logo here. We got a bit of silver, green for some reason there. And uh, really, that's that's about it for his paint apps. Like you got a bit here on the legs, but um, and yet this here in the back. And this to me is a complete waste because why paint this when it's in the back? It's in the back, and you don't really see it when he's transformed either in his other mode. Uh, it just seems seems like a waste to me. Weapons, he does come with two accessories this year, which is going to be his little top piece in his hover mode. And uh, that gun there. And of course, this gun here can plug into a base or city. And Fracas can man it like so. And you can take this and plug it in there as well. So basically all his accessories can connect together. Now, on to the trans... Oh, wait, one thing before the transformation. Um, I don't generally do this with deluxe class figures because size-wise, I think we all know what a deluxe looks like size wise but um, for whatever reason was they decided to make Scourge deluxe which really puts him kind of out of place with Galvatron who is Voyager class and um, just before the Titans return line we had Combiner Wars which gave us a deluxe Cyclonus so um, it, kind of sucks for Scourge because these are the figures he's generally most associated with and um, he kind of got the he got the short end of the stick here because he should be scaled with Cyclonus here uh, so that kind of that's kind of my main thing about this figure I'm not a fan of and um, since I have his is it classics or is it his generations figure, I'm just going to put it here for comparison. Of course, the one on mine, the legs are a little wobbly, um, but he looks uh, he looks a lot nicer. I think the heads are better on this, but this one here is a Titan Master, so uh, you know what can you do? But uh, overall a much nicer looking 
figure mold for his chest and the robot. Really nice looking. So let's get him transformed. First we remove Fracas, just put him to the side. Um, I'm going to start here with the arms. We'll put his fists up into the forearms and these will go up a little bit and there is a slot here, a tab here, so you'll want to just tab that in like so. The same thing for this arm. You'll know when it's in there. Now we're going to do the legs next. So you'll pull this down and um, you're going to turn it around like so. Um, you will take the heels, put them in, pull out these panels here again, the heels will go in, and you'll just want to push those down like that. Now, this here, I'm just going to take it and put it up out of there, and we're going to turn both of these so that that the septicon symbol is facing the same way. And these do tab oops. And these will go up like this to the rest of the jet. And they will now tab together. Get in there. There we go. Tab together like so. And of course the arms came loose. Now for these here, as you can see we do have another tab tab here. And a place for that to go right into the arm. Same thing over here on this side. And there we go. Scourge in his hovercraft mode. Of course we will take his top part there. Um, now his other gun is supposed to come here. Um, I'm not a fan of putting it there. I mean it really obscures where the cockpit is. Um, he does have these over here on his sides and I just kind of prefer to stick that on the side out of the way. Uh, kind of looks a little unbalanced but um, cockpit-wise, putting it here really obscures it, the, the cockpit, which opens up from the back. Fracas goes in, and we just put our little top piece on. Uh, I like his hovercraft. It looks really, really nice. I like the Decepticon logo here. Bit of silver over here. Blue. Looks really, really nice. Um, like I said, my only beef with this figure is he's deluxe, while Cyclonus and Galvatron are uh, Voyager class. So it would kind of be nice if he was Voyager and Galvatron was actually uh, leader class. But uh, I'm sure at some point Hasbro will do him in Voyager class just to give us another one to buy. Uh, in the meantime, I recommend this one. Really worth picking up. And until next time, have a good one.